Hello and welcome to Minecraft Maker. This is Theron and uh, we're out here by the coast, which is actually just by my little uh, compound home base here. Uh, but I've got a giant hole in the ground. Um, yeah, well, it's not giant, but I've got a hole in the ground. Uh, this is part of a project that I kind of alluded to previously. And um, my plan is to line it with obsidian, but I ran out of obsidian. Fortunately, I have an obsidian generator right here. Yeah, okay. And the other thing that I need is I need some lava. So, but fortunately, I know where I can get some. And a little bit, uh, it's a little bit of a walk, but a little bit easier than uh, just going underground and finding lava lakes. So, so I think we're, uh, I think we're good. So, let's, uh, let's go grab some iron and uh, make some buckets and go get some lava. Wow, this must be exciting. I'll probably cut this part out. Oh, that's a nice little cave system. I should probably go down here. Not right now. But don't want to fall in there in the middle of the night either. Look. Oh, careful, pig. Well, that's not a good place for you to be. However, this is exactly where I want to be. All right. Let's go get some lava. Lava, lava. I only need eight buckets, but let's, uh, I think I, I made 12, so let's go ahead and fill those up. Careful, pig. This is a dangerous place for you to be. Need to make sure to keep all this lava off my action bar. Oh, is there lava beneath? It's too deep there. Interesting. These buckets have nice range on them. Yeah, it's too deep there. Hmm. That's two zero two W O T W O. <laughs> The number two. Brought to you by Sesame Street. Yeah, I got a bit of lava now. Okay, good. All right. Mr. Pig, be careful. <laughs> oh, get that lava off my action bar. This is the map that I've already filled out. I'm still not here. Welcome to Minecraft Maker. This is Darren, and uh, I wanted to do a quick update. I finished the uh, the cobblestone generator, so here it is. It kind of looks like a giant shower head, which is kind of what it is. I'm gonna come over here and uh, dump out all my cobblestone, so we get a, a good idea of what this actually does. So I've got the uh, the pit here, and then the tower. And the tower has a uh, has a couple buttons on it. Hmm, lava. Press first. Okay. Come around here. Oh look, there's lava pouring out. It takes a little while to get down to the ground because lava moves somewhat slowly. <laughs> but we do need to we do want to wait for it to uh, to get all the way down. I move slowly enough I could actually go down to the bottom and watch it from down there, but I think it's a little dangerous. And of course we need to wait for it to get down to the bottom because the water moves quite a bit quicker. More quickly. Here it comes. 
It's interesting that the different parts of the stream move at different move at different times. Okay, here we go. And we can hear the lava come into come into sound range now. And then it pulls out onto the floor. Yeah, pretty cool. Okay. And then we have this other button. Water. Press second. And here comes the water. And we've got two dispensers up there dropping water. And here's the interesting thing. Although we hear steam... It doesn't actually start generating the cobblestone until the water already falls down. And you can kind of see it up there now. There it is. It waits until the water finishes flowing. And then it starts turning the lava into cobblestone. We'll be able to hear that in a moment. Yeah, you can see it better from this side. It's creating three pillars of cobblestone. And now we can hear it. Hear the cobble. And the lava, the, the rate at which the lava falls seems to vary. I don't know if it's there's some random element or or has something to do with just the rendering of the world. I don't know. So it'd be kind of hard to put this on a, on a timer. And then once this gets down to the bottom. I can go turn off both the water and the lava. And you can see the lava starting to come down from the top there. Again, it takes a while. The water goes quicker, more quickly. But you can see we have three tall pillars of uh, cobblestone. And I like the, the lighting of the lava uh, goes down I don't, maybe it's a lighting glitch I don't know and you can see how the two different water streams there's like one tick of difference between those two I, if that here comes the water don't want to fall in away and then the lava is still falling almost there And there we go. And I have a pumpkin down on the bottom, so it kind of looks orange even when the uh, the lava is gone. Okay. So what does that look like? Okay, so here's the redstone. Super simple. I just have a couple buttons. I had a door here, but the the buttons kept opening the door. So, um, and I couldn't get away from using repeaters in in a couple of these cases here. So uh, I have this basically a, a redstone torch ladder that goes all the way up 
to the top of the tower. I built a little dome. I'm going to close up this area and build a different access, uh, probably just a couple blocks back, uh, and uh, hide all this redstone because this was only meant as a as an access point. Uh, but here's here's my little domed off area, and and look, I've got some cobblestone sticking out. So if I carefully step over onto one of the pillars of cobblestone here, get out my pickaxe. And again, no cobblestone in my inventory. And I just grab it on the way down. Now, of course, you know, you, you get a lot of cobblestone by going down underground and mining out, you know, stone. I don't know that this is more efficient, but it's more fun. You get to see, uh, see off into the distance. almost down at the bottom okay and then one of the reasons I wanted to put uh, obsidian down at the bottom here was because uh, I wanted to make it easy to tell where the uh, the bottom of each of the pillars was and also um, if you accidentally dug too far make it easy to uh, or make it harder to dig into the actual pit okay I've picked up all the cobblestone and I have here we go uh, three stacks and then and then some and 13 so that's not too bad uh, so then I've got my access door here to get back up to the top because we're a little ways under the ground here and there we have it so that's the uh, I don't really have a name for this it's the obsidian generator and oh, it's dark now so you see it takes a little while but uh, and the cool thing is then I have my little smelter smelterator here oh dude yeah we're not having an open house today sorry you can just go whoops oh man you can die now thank you okay now I can take all my uh, those cobblestone I got and run it through my uh automatically run it through the furnaces smelt it down the stone and stick it in my uh my little chest there and of course i built this because i want to build a large project out over that way out over the ocean and uh, i need a good source of cobblestone to do it and uh, although i i have a fair amount here just from digging and mining away i kind of go through it so uh, this will allow me to do that without going down below and uh, you know spending all the time caving and whatnot. Although I need to do that because I've got uh, I'm starting to run low on other resources so 
I will probably be doing some of that uh, soon because I don't have a lot of iron and I definitely need more diamonds so anyway that was that's it that's the uh, that's the uh, that's cobblestone generator uh, thank you for watching and uh, I will see you next time on Minecraft maker good night